зізнаюсь, милого зустріла я і на серці радість. Hello, my name is Людмила and I am from Ukraine. I would like to share my life with you a little bit of story of my life. I am 32 years old and ha I have a great family. You know, when I was a child, I have a big dream, have a big family and many children and help to many people. And I live in non-Christian family, but anyway, I every time have kind of calling in my heart. And it was very great that uh, one day I was coming to Jesus. He saved my life and uh, uh, it was a very big miracle. I got married with a very nice husband and got very nice family. And I was very young on that time and he was too. But already then I start dream about have foster children or adopt some children because I really always think about that it's maybe not possible just live your life and be happy and know that there is lots of children live on streets and has no food or nothing to wear on. So I start speak to my husband that can we not do something for these children and he was agree and say yes maybe some days we could do something but now we are too young we must first build our own house and make a, a good job uh, earn some money and maybe have our own children and then we can start think about it and soon we got two children of our own two girls and it was very nice we love them so much but then um, we have some friends in Denmark uh, it was organization joy uh, and the leader of this organization organization Jesse Marcher she started to make humanitarian work in Krasny Luch in Ukraine and uh, she invited us to help her in this job and it was just exactly what were in our hearts because her heart and our hearts was really uh, together to help people and especially to children and what we start to do is help a lot uh, to children hospitals, uh, children home internats in our city and cities around in our region. And uh, it was for some years we have a very good job together. Jesse sends us uh, some uh, humanitarian help. It was different clothes, toys and sometimes uh, they sent some money so we could buy food and um, different things for children. But every time I feel in my heart that it's not enough we are coming just once in months to children home and give help. Of course it's very good and big help for those children who has nothing at all that somebody come and care about them and give them hug and give them help nice toys and clothes but i feel deep 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 in my heart that they need much more than one time visit so i start speak for my husband what about now now we have good job all of us have good salary quite good you know and we have our own children and a house why can't we take some child to our family and he say yes maybe we shall start think about this <clears throat> and so once we came to children hospital and then meet a very nice boy he was four months old but he looks just like a one month child very thin and sick and when I take him and when I hold him uh, in my arms, I think what a wonderful baby. I very want him uh, to my family. But on that time, not everything was ready, you know, but we start pray about this. And, you know, uh, I got pregnancy and I have child number three on that time so we give up with this idea to take the child to our family and it was sad but we feel that God prepare us a little bit but what do you think after three years uh, on a Christmas party we were in a children kind of children home and we meet exactly this boy I saw for three years ago in a children hospital 
Nobody could understand how is this possible. I can recognize this face of four month child, a baby and three years and a half uh, child. But I could feel him in my heart that it was exactly this. And after we start uh, speaking in a children's office about can it be this boy we met for uh, three years ago and we start to uh, ask about his name and date of birth and it was exactly him. So I tell for my husband, I think now it's really a time because it's just not possible that we meet him for uh, three years ago and now in Christmas time, so we must do something and he was agree. So we start preparing papers and different things to take him to our family and after half, uh, yeah, about maybe four months, everything was ready and we took him home. And it was wonderful. Of course, it was not easy because boy was very sick and um, very um, broken inside because all these three years he has very bad life from one children home to another children home and already on this age he has alcoholic sickness from his mother because all her pregnancy and when she give milk uh, she drink a lot so uh, it, it was very very poor boy but we love him so much. But it was fantastic. In our family, we have, we have a new life, new child, and we try taking care about him as much as we could. Kulta kaupunki mun sydämeni kaipaa. Siellä tuska murhet taistot tauonne. Levon uupuneen Jeesus luodaan antaa. Rakkaus uivannut on kaikki. Mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Tahdon seurassansa iäisyyden viettää. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Luona Jeesuksen ei sydän verta vuoda. Päättyi sairaus, jäi köyhyys, kurjuus maan. Eikä portteihinsa syntiä saa tuoda. Kulta kaupungissa ikirauhansa. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Tahdon seurassansa jäisyyden. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luokse Jeesukseen. Kulta kaupungissa kohdataan me saamme. Kaikki pyhät, joita täällä kaivattiin. Vaikka kyynelin me heistä eroamme. Kiittäin käymme uuteen Jerusalemiin. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Tahdon seurassansa iäisyyden viettää. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Oi mä kaipaan päästä luoksi Jeesukseen. Tahdon seurassansa iäisyyden viettää. We have, we have a new life, a new child, and we try taking care about him as much as we could. And it was special touch uh, for our hearts that our own children really was feeling in love for this boy because sometimes, you know, it can be difficult if your own children say, no, we don't want we don't want to have a new member in our family. And many people ask, but what about your children? Will they not be uh, sad about? But it was not. They love him as uh, we do. And it was really God's miracle. And I still think that it's only because of God uh, make uh, special work with our hearts. None of us has, you know, um, 
some special bad feeling or something. All of us uh, support this idea and think it's really great. Um, it's uh, uh, go together with me, my husband and my children and also my mom. She was also agree and help us a lot on that time. But then after some months we have asking from children office if it won't have some more children. And it was, you know, it was very new for us and we were thinking maybe about one child because together with our own on that time we have four children and it was quite enough and I have my school work, I am a school teacher, so we think maybe not, maybe we shall think about and what was in our mind that we should have children um, before six years old, you know, because maybe it's be, it'll be a little bit easier to help him because when they're um, adults, so it can be in this teenager age, it can be a little bit difficult. So we think maybe yes, maybe not. We, are, we were not sure at all. But then next Christmas, again, we have a Christmas party in a children's home. And lady from children's office asked, would you like to have a girl in your family? Because now we have already now there stay girl and wait for family. And if nobody wants her, so she will go to internet. And it's really not good. And we think, no, but how old is she? And she says she's 13. And we think, no, maybe not, because she is really teenager age. And it can be difficult, you know. We have our children smaller than her. And we say, but yeah, okay, we will think about, and if yes, we will let you know. And then uh, both of us were on this party, and we look on one girl, and we think, me and my husband, that yeah, if it can be this girl, so maybe we can try to take her to our family. And what do you think? It was exactly this girl. So without saying uh, each other, my husband come to her and say, what about, would you like to come to our family? and try maybe you would like to live with us and she was so happy and we of course say yes for her and she started live with us and it was very great she has very terrible story too uh, all of uh, all uh, of her family her father mother and grandparents and her, her brother was alcoholic and all of them alive and um, none of them dead but nobody can take care about her she has no food um, many days and uh, it was very difficult. She couldn't read or write, uh, nothing at all. But very good girl and she really enjoyed stay with us and we enjoyed it too. And so we think, okay, now we have five children and it's really very good. So what can we do now? And then we have a phone call from children's office again. And she said, you know, we have a one girl, she has a handicap and um, she has a problem with her, uh, uh, with her arm and some problem with her breast. So um, maybe we should give her to special, uh, there is some handicap uh, children house. And, uh, but she is only five years old and maybe you could look at her, maybe she can uh, live with you because it's not... Uh, she really need a family and we say why not now we have five children but why don't we try with one more and uh, we come to children uh, home and look at her and have part and on that day she has a birthday so we bring big uh, birthday cake and make party for her and we say yeah we don't think it will be a problem we like her very much and she likes us why not and she say yes i will start prepare the documents but then after um, some days she phoned us and say, but you know, now we found out that she has a brother. And what do you think? Would you like to also uh, take him? And I say, uh, yeah, maybe, but how old is he? And she say, but, she, uh, but he's five months old. And I say, yeah, it will be nice. But I'm working and my husband working and he's uh, just a baby and we already have five children. What can we do? We will think about and she say, but don't worry if not. So we will just separate him. One will go to your family and another will go to another family. And we say, 
no, but this will be not good. And uh, we almost was ready to say yes for him, but we have a phone call again from children office and she say, this woman, you know, today uh, we take our children and from children home and go with them to church and then priest ask all the children, now you can pray uh, to God what you want most of all and he will do all for you. And what do you think this little girl say? All children pray, pray about, I won't have a toy and another pray, I won't have some bicycle or something. And she say, but I won't be together with my brother. And of of course, you know, we say to her, but this you really must do. We are ready to take both of them to our family. So it was number six and seven child to, uh, we welcome to our family. And then almost exactly on the same time, they have a boy also stayed there in a children's home and looking for family. His mother was die and uh, uh, his father was alcoholic and so uh, they asked maybe you also will take him because now you have so big family and plus or minus one it will be okay for you and we say but how old is he and he was 12 i think and we say yeah why not because it was always dream for us just has big family and we say yes <laughs> Kun käyn takaisin luokse sun, oli katkera synnin malja, sielun poltti se vaivatun. Ole armollinen ja auta, sitä ansaitse vaikka en, älä velkani määrä muista, katso Ole armollinen, oi Herra, kun on liekkini tummunut. Soitu sieluni kankeleesta, syksy tuulessa sammunut. Ole armollinen, mua kohtaa, sua mun löytää sutuudestaan. Anna lämpösi jälleen voi. Saada tuleeni loistamaan. Ole armollinen, oi Herra, jos mä korskassain käännyn pois. Jos et etsi mä lohdutusta, eikä sinussa turvain pois. Älä luotasi pois mua päästä, ilman sua mitään voin mä en ole armollinen. Because it was always dream for us, just has big family. And we say yes. So we were eight people together, eight children together, and me and my husband, and it was quite big family. And on that time we have filled up our house at all and it was great. Uh, I uh, start work in another place, um, school, n um, next place uh, they invite me to be a school director and I say but what can I do? Now I have big family, many children, but this I also like to be uh, at work and at school. And of course, uh, we were thinking about should we take this job or shall I say no? But then we say, we think, why not? Now we can see that God really taken care about us and everything is go very good together. 
my children are very healthy and they go very good together no problem at all and people do not understand how is this possible how is this possible you can work at school you can you have your own children home and you are just going very good together and i say it's not because of me or my husband we are really not special but god is really he is very good and he is special and he give all power and all love and care to our heart so i say yes to my new job and i start be a school director and try help 300 children there stay 300 children in our city and it was the poorest school from all our city but it was great i like the job and children like me and all my children start go come to this uh, school so we have very good very good together but then we again have a phone call from children office and they say but what about now we have a family three children one sister and two brothers and they are looking for family would you not like to take also them to your family and we say why not now we are so many and we are very feel comfortable together why don't we try have three more children and there was um, one girl of five years boy of four years and one boy of three years so we also take them so already now we have 11 children uh, included our three girls and we are very happy and very enjoy live together and praise our lord together and already now our son uh, adopted son or foster son how you, you say i don't know what you would would like to say but i do not feel that they are fostering children you know they are our own children because they was born in our hearts too so we are really taking them like our own children we never call them in different ways you know so our son uh, oh, he is 13 now he is very good uh, help us to uh, some priest in one of the church he really enjoy go to church every sunday and serve there to god and i'm really thankful to my lord because you know it can be difficult children in this age can be very special because it's teenager age there can come different problems but it's so happy to me and really great that i can see that my child my adopted son instead of go to the street and drink and to try drugs and um, different things he loved to go to the church and i think it's a very big miracle so all my children now receive jesus and really uh, they know deep in their heart that god he is real and he changed their life and god give them family and uh, god give uh, these children to me and my husband so i'm really thankful to him that now all my dreams come true and just last summer we received a house from our community to so all of us can have uh, rooms there big kitchen big living room and big and nice uh, garden so children can play there and have very nice and we are very glad only one dream i have now have have a big mini bus so i can take all my children and travel a lot because i think it's a great experience and it can be good testimony for all people around the world that it's possible and God is really good and he is real and he changed a lot and only because of him now all these 11 children know him and can it can change their life so thanks you was together with me and you watching me with love Ludmila
Hi, I'm Don Moen, and I want to say a big hello to all my friends in Denmark and Scandinavia, and let you know that I'll be visiting Scandinavia for my very first time, December 19th, 2013, at the Culture Center in Copenhagen. It's going to be a great night as we celebrate Christmas together. I'll be singing some of my favorite songs and be joined with some of the top gospel artists in Denmark, like Linda Andrews, the Absolute Gospel Singers, and many, many more. It's going to be a great night to celebrate Christmas together. So come join me. Get your tickets now. I look forward to seeing you soon.